The AH-1Z Viper is the latest and most potent form of the Vietnam Warrior AH-1 Cobra helicopter debuted in the late 1960s. During development of the single-engine AH-1 for the United States Army, the United States Marine Corps USMC expressed interest in a twin-engine arrangement of the same attack platform, which gave rise to the AH-1J Sea Cobra offshoot introduced in 1971. The line ultimately begat an entire family of twin-engine attack platforms, all related to the original AH-1, with over 1,270 Sea Cobras and the related Super Cobra produced. The Viper form represents an extension of the AH-1W Super Cobra line for the USMC, intending to keep the product a viable battlefield component into the next several decades. The AH-1Z includes a composite four-blade main rotor and four-blade tail rotor assemblies, bearingless, driven by two X General Electric T700 series turboshaft engines. Performance is enhanced as a result, and the added power provides a higher operating weight than in previous Cobra iterations. Many of its onboard systems have been updated, and some all-new equipment has been fitted for improved battlefield survivability and situational awareness. The cockpits are now dominated by a pair of Rockwell Collins LCDs and allows for the helicopter to be piloted from either seat. All pertinent mission parameters are showcased through the color displays. A digital 3D map allows for improved navigation. One of the key additions to the Cobra line is use of helmet-mounted displays, HMDs, manufactured by Bay Systems, as the striker. The helmets are also used to showcase mission parameters, flight data, and the like, as well as being linked to the onboard weapons system for target queuing. The wing stubs have been extended and offer all modern support for supported USN USMC ordnance, including guided and precision weaponry. As finalized, the AH-1Z is outfitted with 2X General Electric T700GE401C turboshaft engines, developing 1,800 shaft horsepower each.
Performance numbers include a maximum speed of 255 miles per hour, a range out to 425 miles, a service ceiling of over 20,000 feet, and a rate of climb of 2,800 feet per minute. The helicopter continues the slim profile appearance established by the original AH-1 Cobra of the Vietnam War years. The tandem seat cockpit seats the pilot in the rear with the weapons officer at front. The tail rotor unit is set to the port site, unlike the starboard side facing of the original Cobra and the follow-up Super Cobra. The undercarriages of the fixed skid arrangement as in the original. The wing stubs feature three hardpoints apiece, six total, and can mount the AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missile, the AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, and the 2.75 Hydra-70 rocket pot in a 7 or 19 shot count. The standard armament remains the 20mm M197 three-barrel Gatling style cannon in the AA-49E powered chin turret. Fire control is assisted through the Lockheed Martin Northrop Grumman ANAPG-78 longbow radar system.